Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Target Focus Life. My name's Steve, and today I'm in Hondo, Texas at Paloma Pachanga, and I am excited to have just an amazing time at this place. And to share the experience, I have a special guest with me. You're not fooling anybody. Hey guys. So, I mean, I said special. It's my brother, Aaron. Is this your first appearance on Target Focus Life? Yeah, I thought I was gonna say, you know, happy to see you. Welcome to the Common Patriot. Oh, this is your channel. This is not the Common Patriot, <laughs> but nice uh, shameless plug there. <laughs> we got invited down by Venatura Excursions to come down. We're just gonna have a good old time and we wanna show you around this place because this might be a place you wanna put on the bucket list to come visit sometime, especially if you're a northern folk like us, stuck up in that frigid cold winter, it's January in t-shirts, get, probably sunburn. getting sunburnt. Yeah. But we're about to have some fun. Come along with us, let's go. There he is. Hey. You must be Michael. Michael Perkins. Nice hey, to meet guys. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Well, we are excited to be here. Absolutely. We're excited to have you on behalf of Venator Excursions. We'd like to welcome you to uh, Paloma Pachanga. What do we have on tap for the weekend? So we're going to do a little bit of dove hunting. We're going to do some mixed bag upland. We're going to shoot some pheasants, some chucker, and some quail. Have a good time. We're going to have a chef for y'all knocking things out. We're going to yes. hang out in the game room. Oh, we're talking. It's, it's South Texas. We might hit the pool in January. You mean your pools aren't frozen here? They're not frozen. Ah. Man. It is <laughs> nice. They're ready to go. And of course, we're going to hit the five stand and, and uh, see how y'all shoot. Come on. Where you at? Where you at? Woo! Grizzly! Ah! Where'd everybody go? <laughs> Better catch up with everybody. All right, it's a beautiful, cool morning here in Texas. About to go out, see if we can't get ourselves some doves. Michael here has promised just a plethora of doves, left and right. <laughs> Right? We're, we're gonna try. We'll see what we can do. Rocking the bread at 686, silver pigeon 20 gauge today. Aaron's got the same. I got the perfect spot here. Built in gun holder right on the tree. There we go. Michael! You said you should let clients shoot first. You're standing there with a the gun on the tree. It's on now. Right here. Woo -hoo -hoo. There we go. That was fun. That was a lot of fun this morning. Thousands of birds. I mean, a lot of them way out of range. But we had some come over us, got some good shooting, and I feel like I was just starting to warm up a little bit. Definitely. We had to get a bunch of those misses out of the way right away. But then uh, the last couple birds we shot at, we nailed pretty good. Starting to get on. I tell you what, I may have outshot you this morning on the doves. Well, you outshot me? Uh, here's my three. There's your two. Yep. I would say that's out shooting. But Please. hey, you know, you're going to have an opportunity. They got a cool five stand here. We're gonna go check that out. You got the opportunity to make it up. See if you can outshoot me this afternoon. All right. Let's do it. So here's the five stand. This is looking pretty sweet, huh? Oh, I'm excited. Ready to bust some clays. How about you? Yeah, let's get to it. Pull. Oh. Pull. Very nice. You know what's up next? No. They're preparing some food for us. Let's fill our bellies. We got more shooting to come though. Appetizers are ready to go. Of course, we've got a stock fridge full of whatever beverage of your choice. Dig in. Uh huh. Dynamite. Looks amazing. Looks like our critter getter rides here for the evening hunt. Perfect. This is a ride right here, man. I'm driving. So we're gonna go start out. We're gonna have that 
South Texas amazing pointing dog flush from style hunt. We're gonna go try to get after some quail, some chucker, and some pheasants. It'll be fun. Sweet. Do we got all the gear we need or we need to get some yeah, stuff? Yeah, let's get from some the pro stuff. Shop. Let's get some stuff from the pro shop and we'll get out of here. Okay, I got my shirt picked out. Winner, winner, plaid dinner. All right, guys, we gotta know who's wearing it best. Who's got the better setup here? Aaron Old Man here. And his, South Texas. Yeah, South yeah. Texas camo. Or uh, the plaid orange school boy. hippie schoolboy over here. Either way, I'm ready to kill some birds. So for this hunt, I'm sticking with the Beretta Silver Pigeon, but you've got a different gun this go around. What do you got? Yeah, I have a Browning Satori White Lightning. 20, in 28 gauge. 28 gauge, so I'm yeah. looking forward to that. You boys ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's go. Get him up. We're on the board. Oh, all right. Well, there you go, chucker. Some little mail. I think that might be my first chucker, yes. There you go. Got a point. June sees that Daz is pointing a bird and is respecting the fact that he has a bird. So she's gonna stand and wait and say, I, I see you, I know you've got a bird, I'm not gonna mess your bird up. She can't smell it, but she's working together with Daz to say, hey, I'm not gonna make this bird fly, so we're ready. I uh, one of y'all this side, one of y'all go that other side in that wind. Steve, I'd walk right up with that dog. Get him up, get him up. Where'd he go, get him up. Oh. Good shot, good shot, Steve. Hey, get him up, get him up. Here you go, Steve. Got your quail. Good Love job. It. Thank you. Get him up. Good shot. Good job, Rocket. Thank you, Rocket. So it's going to be a little bit different style hunt. Might be a lot more spontaneous flushes, just birds jumping up. Just, this is a uh, run and gun. It's controlled chaos. It's that flushing dog hunt. It's uh, based on the flushing dog. So it's gonna be, we're not, no bird's gonna outrun us. No bird's gonna get past us. It, it is just an army of these dogs going through this thick cover. And so those pheasants that like to run on you and tuck in and duck and spin around and jump behind you and all that crazy stuff that those pheasants like to do, they don't have a chance. If they get past one dog, there's a second dog there. How many dogs we got down? So we've got four flushing dogs. We're still gonna run a pointing dog. And so we've got five dogs on the ground and we're gonna push this and push the end of this and everything that comes up, we're gonna watch y'all knock down. Let's do it. All right, let's go. All right. Chuck, get them up, get them up, get them up. Good shot. Chaka, chaka, chaka. Good shot, Steve. Got us a nice rooster. On the board. Oh, we got more birds moving. Let's go. Oh, we got quail everywhere. Let's go. Got a point. Get it, get it, Ernst. Oh, double. good double. 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 Good double. Nice. That was fun. Cool. There's bird Should. number one. And there's bird number two. Very nice. Got you a pair of chucker. Look at that. Isn't there something about a partridge in a pear tree or a pear chucker in a field? It could be that. Something like that. Must be a South Texas thing. <laughs> Got it! Rooster! Oh, there we go! You can't take the trick shooter out of them. I've seen a lot of things in my years, but I haven't seen that. Right there, Rooster! Good shot. Good dog, good dog. Thank you, thank you. Got a point. Good shot, Steve. Way to reach out there. It's a fun contrast to go from that pointing dog and flushing dog where you've got the guns broke open, we're talking, we're telling stories, till you come out here and it's all business. Let's be ready. Yes, sir. It's a lot of fun.
That was a ton of fun, even though Aaron shot most of the birds. We watched the pointing dogs go back and forth, back and forth, and just lock up solid on point, and birds are flushing. And that was just a ton of fun. Then we also had opportunities just to let down in the evening, sit by the campfire, and went to the game room. We got to play big buck hunter and shuffleboard and golf and just had a great time. So this wasn't really all about just a hunt. It was all about an overall experience, being able to come in and have our own lodging, separate from everybody else, being able to have our own personal chef that took care of us. Chef Rick made dynamite meals every evening, lunches, breakfast, we were so well taken care of. Being able to hunt during the day, spend some time here at the five stand, having fun, a phenomenal destination for Aaron and I to get away from the cold Minnesota winter. I can't say enough. I wanna thank Venatura Excursions for having us out and taking such good care of us. Definitely a place to put on your bucket list to check out if you like to get out and do some of those destination hunts, destination experiences, highly recommend it. Well, that's it for us here at the Paloma Pachanga Ranch. It's been a fantastic experience. We gotta head back to Minnesota to the freezing, freezing cold. But while we were here, one thing I wanna mention is we shot a couple Ghoul Brother videos that are gonna be a lot of fun that include some really cool trick shots. Definitely wanna check those out. Put those in the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots that you're laser focused on. So live target focused. See ya.